Hey guys, how's it going? So today I just wanted to bring out a, a quick video on how to make improved lids. So in the past, uh, I brought a video that shows you how to make filters. And this one we're going to take it a step further and I'm going to show you how to make an inoculation port. Now, what is an inoculation port? So in mycology, when we introduce um, any kind of spores or cultures to a um, spawn, we have to be as sterile and as clean as we can because anytime we have contact with the outside environment and the inside of either the jar we're using, we're exposing uh, the grains to contamination or possible contamination. So as you can see, what this allows you to do is if you're using, for example, a syringe or like a liquid culture, you can go in the inoculation port and come out and what it does is it will close back up on its own and that really really limits the amount of time that there could possibly be contamination and by adding a second hole we can then add our filter all right so i'm going to be going over materials needed to make this fantastic inoculation port so to begin with as you can see the uh, lid has two holes so we are going to need two tools and one of them is going to have a larger diameter and one of them a smaller. The smaller one will be used for the inoculation port while the larger one will be used for the filter. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration because I would make the holes. So I would use the ring at the bottom just to give it kind of like that up uh, lifted angle and then I would just give it a nice tap. Once you do that, you're going to get a couple of um, pieces sticking out. Feel free to grab kind of like a scissor or anything like that. And you're going to want to just trim that off and try to make it as smooth as you can. And um, if you can't get everything to be smooth, feel free to grab uh, kind of like a blunt object and you can go ahead and give a few smacks and make sure it's make sure it's smooth. Make sure you know nothing sticks out. It helps uh, not getting the filters caught in there. And so for the rest of the material, what I like to use is duct tape. And what is actually used to make the inoculation port itself is called Red RTV. And it's a high temperature gasket maker. Uh, you can get this at like Walmart or any, I believe, like auto shops. Um, I believe Home Depot as well, Lowe's. So it's fairly common. I would just say it would go to like a hardware store. And you're really looking for that red RTV and you have to make sure it's high temperature. Uh, reason for that is because we're going to be pressure cooking our jars and uh, it's going to be reaching a very high temperature in there and we do not want it to melt. Now what I'm going to be using the duct tape for is to place the RTV and kind of give it that support and give it that shape we want of um, kind of like that flat disc. So I'll just grab like a small piece of duct tape and I'm sorry in this video I kind of got it off frame but um, I will fold it in half just so that there's no sticky side and I will cut it to about the size of what my uh, inoculation port will be. And as you can see if it's right over not too big not too small and we've got it. So I went ahead and cut a few more. What's great about these is you can actually reuse them after you're done, uh, so you, it never goes to waste. But make sure you have two per lid. Okay, so first thing I will say about the RTV is if it's not a new bottle, make sure uh, you shut it really quickly because that stuff dries really quickly. Also, uh, I'm wearing a glove because this stuff gets super messy. As you can see, it's already all over like the scissors just from, just from cutting it. And for some reason, I feel like it kind of smells like uh, salt and uh, vinegar chips. Okay, so in order to apply, what I like to do is kind of like the same thing as when I made my hole for my filters. I leave a gap so that way it doesn't kind of like spill on the table or anything like that. Now, the last step is going to be just to clean our lid. So I just use rubbing alcohol and I'll wipe the top and the bottom of the lid. All right, so we're finally able to apply that RTV. So I started off by using just uh, 
the other end of the first tool um, that I used to make a hole. It doesn't need to be anything specific. You could probably get away with just using a butter knife or anything like that. All right, so the goal um, that I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get the RTV to really go through the hole from one end to the other. And then what I like to do is kind of wrap it around the area in a circle to make sure it kind of seals the entire hole shut. Afterwards, I will just kind of grab the excess that I don't need because you really don't need too, too much at the top, just enough to make um, kind of like a little seal. And so you wanna just repeat the same process and flip uh, around the lid and repeat the same process, making sure the RTV goes through the hole and really kind of clogs that hole. And for here, same concept is gonna apply. I'm just gonna kind of go around the circle, making sure all the edges are pretty much sealed. And now it's time to grab our duct tape that we've previously made. The goal with this is to just kind of line it up on top and apply very, very minimal pressure. Because what that's gonna end up doing is it will not get stuck to the paper. So we're just gonna gently apply, I mean, it's not gonna get stuck to the um, RTV once we remove later. So we're just gonna push lightly. And now what you can do is pinch your fingers together and do that kind of like motion, but really apply not a lot of pressure whatsoever. Otherwise you will have some issues uh, later. So as you can see, it's just going to take a little bit of time to dry and our end result should look like the lid. And now we're just going to leave this off to the side to dry, but we're pretty much all done guys. The last step I guess I can show you here is we're going to repeat the same thing as in the first lids video. So I just like to grab some polyfill and just fit it through that hole. You guys can do the same. Okay, so we are back. Uh, it's actually been about, uh, I'm gonna see, like a week since I uh, have left the RTV to dry. And uh, I'm back to it, so let's see if uh, it turned out good. Let's see if uh, it's a success. All right, so I'm removing the first layer here, and there you go. See how nice and like smooth that is? And that was the reason why we did not apply a lot of pressure, is for this step right here. Look at that. Boom, not a problem whatsoever. So in the past I have done it where I've kind of pushed on it harder, definitely made it harder. Um, I did ruin some of the holes, but now, as you can tell, this is fantastic. So definitely try this technique out. And uh, if you guys like the video, uh, definitely consider giving me a like, leave a comment, uh, you can subscribe, and I've got some more videos on the way. So definitely uh, be ready for that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you use rubbing alcohol always, stay clean, and uh, Psyche out. Thank you.